Could I get a glass of ice water? Make him a double, Vicky. I'm buying. Bobby, I just wanted to say that I... Forget it. You're not mad? Hell no. You know how much TV advertising costs these days? Anytime you want to sue me, you go right ahead. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I felt funny when my lawyer told me who I was suing. I mean, I don't understand what... Well, I mean, I always knew that, you know, or I thought that Bobby owned the club. I never knew that you were the boss. Anyway, it was nothing personal. It's for tax reasons, that's all. I I'm still the owner. It's just the, the deed's in your name. The ghost was sworn to punish the person who was keeping it here, the owner. Now I understood why Bobby didn't want me at the courthouse. So? I'm making this tape for a reason. In case something happens to me. Bobby did what he had to do, I guess. I don't know. We tried to sell the place, but nobody's buying. So all we do is sit here and wait. And wait. To this day, Janet Mackey is listed on county papers as the owner of Bobby Mackey's. I won't come in here alone because uh, of what's happened to me in the past. It scares me because I honestly think that there is something here will hurt me if I'm by myself. Because they're after me, no doubt about that. I think that the reason why Bobby turned the ownership over to me, that he's really afraid they're going to get him. I certainly wouldn't put the danger on her and take danger off of me. I, I don't believe there's any danger to begin with. It was strictly a career move, a timely thing, a circumstantial thing. It had nothing to do with, with anybody being in danger because I've never seen anybody in any danger in here whatsoever. I think Bobby Mackey's very much in danger. Local writer Doug Hensley spent five years researching the club. That because Bobby Mackey has got on television shows and radio talk shows and whatever, and has mocked the spirits and has teased them and has said there is no Alonzo Walling, there is no Pearl Bryant on my property or in my building. I believe the day is going to come, and it's been predicted by several psychics, the day is going to come when they are going to try to kill Bobby. The attack in the men's room is still fresh in Richard Lawson's mind. I put my hands in the wash basin right here to wash my hands. And as I put my hands in this basin, this metal garbage can right beside the wash basin just violently took off and it slammed like that right into the wall and it, it, it kept beating. And I turned around very violently to find out what in the world's going on and there stood an image of a man. And he kept repeating to me the words, die game. And I was getting tingly inside, I got woozy and I went out on the floor completely. I mean, I was out and they had to call 911 to come in here and revive me from me being unconscious. That ladder, it started right from that pipe right there it started wobbling it wasn't no, nothing like i'd ever seen it had trampled it just wasn't walking it was coming towards you just like in a spin like a tornado type thing banging against the wall and carrying on and i couldn't move and i thought well this is it you know i'm either dead or it's gonna it's after me and my child psychic patricia michelle witnessed the evil that lives within bobby mackey's I had these very eerie feelings as I started walking through this basement. Cold chills. But then in my mind, I could see a well. And when I saw it, I saw a head in it. Bobby Mackey continues to play his music for the fans every weekend who come out despite the ghosts. There's nothing here. I mean, nothing to be gotten rid of. I don't think there's anything such as that on the face of the earth. Well, if it happened to you, you if, you would. If if you uh, but um, you, you know when you get when you, you show me a, you show me a ghost you show me a ghost and, and I'll ride. I could show you because you never ride me the down mechanical there. bull in the nude. Well, you ride it in the nude. You with, get with ready because they're here, hat. and you might have to go. You might have to do that because 
they're here. And if someday they will grab you right by, well, from behind, you won't even go there. <laughs> well, I, I'll have to buy you one tomorrow. <laughs> what compels the haunting events we've seen tonight? Why do people experience and report the extraordinary, sometimes at great risk to their own credibility? All we know for certain is that there are many more stories like these, stories of real ghosts. Coming up next, say goodbye to Captain Janeway and hello to Captain Tuvok. When Janeway abandons her ship, Tuvok takes the helm and the crew is on the brink of mutiny on Star Trek Voyager next.